pretty cool part of that boulder. And then epic. we're gonna get epic. You have to save that word till you plug it in. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. You're getting completely ahead of yourself. I apologize. Epic is for when you plug it in, you see how amazing it looks, then you say epic. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, you, you get it? Okay. It's all, it's all on me. All on you. Say a few words. I, I just can't help it. It's, it's just first and from me. We're doing a water feature job. Awesome this happening here. This is a bit of a challenge because we got to slope down this way. They didn't want to bring in a couple tracks loads of dirt and build a mound here to get the falls pointing that way, which would have been ideal. So we took what we had, we added another spillway. We worked with the grade we had and I'm doing everything I can to get as much viewpoint from that beautiful new sun porch and porch over there. And eventually they're talking about doing a walkway down here and doing a patio down here. So it's justifiable to build a water feature that's pointed away from the house, but barely. But what we did, I have a falls coming in here, a deep pool, and then a falls coming in this way. It's not gonna be very much, but it'll get at least maybe four inches of drop. That one will be visible from the side porch. This is just a little ripple, not much of a falls. Uh, up here, I set this big guy because I wanted to sit on it and put my feet in the water. That's why I did that. It's gonna be a framing boulder for two falls. Then over here, I'm gonna put a thin framing boulder on this side and get a real nice big sheet falls pointed towards that area. And then this will just be a deep pool. Tomorrow we're gonna have water running. Alrighty folks, I just set the framing boulder for this big falls, our main falls. That's gonna be the primary viewing for that sun porch. Gonna get a spillway brock right in here and hopefully incorporate this little jutting point on the rock with a cool little point coming in from the side. Now on this side, on the other side of that big rock, this is where I wanna do something. I don't really wanna sheet falls. Uh, I don't know exactly what I wanna do. DJ gets to build one falls per feature. This is gonna be it. So I'm gonna do my best, keep my mouth shut and let him screw it up. He's down here playing with things in the excavator. Let's go see what he thinks. What is that? What are you doing, dude? Playing. You're playing. How many waterfalls do you get to build per feature? One. Yeah, how many? Zero. Yeah, you do. This is yours. I'm gonna run the excavator. I'm gonna prop my feet up and try to look as much like a zombie as possible while giving zero helpful thoughts or opinions. That's normal. Let's like see what you got. As soon as you get a plan, you're gonna have to tell everyone what you're gonna build. I don't know. There's ugly rocks. You pick ugly rocks. I did not pick ugly rocks. I think you need to sign a disclaimer that says, if I screw this up, somehow it's my own fault and no one else's. Oh, ugly rocks. So you see, this never goes well with these. Now, what did you say, Deej? I need your majesty's opinion on this rock. Okay, what are you thinking? How does that rock look like it is? Does it look like it's falling down or does it look um, like it could be cool? Where's the water, way, water, level's water level's right, right there. there. So you only see this. Yeah, no, I think that's fine. What that rock is gonna do, you'll see the very top part of it there. Yes. But the water that's coming down here, it's gonna make your foam shoot. If you foam this off, mm -hmm. then like, the, the turbulence of the falls, it's gonna direct over through here. You got it. I like that. I like what he's got going here. Deej, what did you see in this, this left-hand framing boulder that made you pick that? Um, mainly this point, this point coming up like this, uh -huh. and this little notched area right here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What this does, it creates just enough of a mystery element without actually hiding the falls. It's this cool point that comes out past the falls that creates a recessed, sunken in, worn in look for, for the falls without obstructing the view of the fall. Pretty cool part of that boulder. And then epic. we're gonna get epic. You have to save that word till you plug it in. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. You're getting completely ahead of yourself. I apologize. Epic is for when you plug it in, you see how amazing it looks, then you say epic. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, you, you get it? Okay. It's all, it's all on me. All on you. This is gonna be pretty cool too. It's not gonna spill away rock right away by right Deej's here. hands. Matter of fact, we might just let Deej there. We could foam his fingers in right like that. Then I can go whoop, the water hits that and yeah. splashes or I can 
put it back in. Variable shape spillway rock. Or I could just cheat fold. Or you could do a dam and or make I it could, spill up over here. Yeah, I could do that too. Yeah, I'd see that's that's cool. I like that. It's gonna give a deep gusher with all kinds of action there. The spillway is gonna be right here, and hopefully it will come down over and kind of hit this. Hit that. Push it over. Spill it this. over there. And then down, and then into, the down into the cavern. Gusher, that's gusher, gonna gusher. create all the turbulence of that falls to come rushing over into here. Okay, I like it. That's the plan. I don't know. Let us know what you think when we plug it in. Is, but mine, is mine better or is Ben's Yeah, better? see that's that's where I don't want to go with this. Mine for Ben. Every artist has unique work. You can't be judging people like that. But which do you like D better? DJ does some good stuff, but once you start heading the direction of saying that he's gonna build things that look better than what I build, then that's where we start getting in reckless. That, that's dangerous territory right there. I think if that happens, we're gonna have to start two punches. Yeah, that, yeah I, I see it heading that way already. Hey Deej, what's your role in the company? Clean up trash. No, there's more than that. And for the old Ben wine. Yes. Win. Ben's personal assistant. Okay, so now that we now that we talked about that, let's talk about putting in our spillway. One of the things that helps make Deej put down the mud ball. That's just in case you make a wrong answer. I get nervous when Deej holds mud balls. One of the things that you can do on just about every one of your water features that helps make it look more naturalistic, when you put in your spillway, make sure that it's not the highest point in your falls. If your water falls from the very highest point in the, in the landscape, it tends to look unnaturalistic. So when I set boulders around here, I make sure that I have some that are above the height of where my see my water spillway is going to be all the way front here and it's lower than the things around it and if you can't really do that with any of your framing boulders go ahead and behind the spillway set a big landscape boulder that sticks out up above because the water is not going to naturally come out of the very top of the hill it comes down below it's sunken in and recessed easy thing to do that will make a big difference on helping make it look naturalistic a couple tips I'm putting in the um, spillway. Um, don't cut the hole too big. Yeah, don't cut the hole too big. Make sure that the, the soil below here that the spillway rests on is compacted so that it doesn't settle and eventually tear out your bulkhead. And then I like to put down a pad of river gravel. It makes it real easy to level it then. Uh, another thing you can do to help prevent leaks if it does settle is make sure you don't want to pull this tight like this and put up your bulkhead right in there because if it settles, it'll it'll pull through there. So create yourself some folds, give yourself some space so that if it settles, it's not gonna tear through right away. I should put on a sharp knife blade, but I didn't probably suffer for that. Are you even cutting? I'm cutting. Okay, I wasn't cutting. Three hours later, it's nice and snug. Put on the seal. I always spin these the wrong way. You almost have to. Get them started one way, then spin them back the other way, and they go right on. Getting tight. You can usually feel a little bubble on that seal. There we go. And there you have it. Lots of space in here. If this would saddle, it wouldn't pull it out of that seal. Have a nice, good fold there. Now, may I get back to work? Yep. Have you ever seen a forest and a stream just emerge out of the landscape within two days? Well, you have now. Water features in. I love how that turned out. We have beautiful viewing from the stream porch up there. Also his bedroom's up there. It's just gorgeous from up there. And we are going through with a hardscape. There's a walkway coming off of that walkway, coming down into here, a patio down here, a fire ring, a seating wall, 
think there's a swing going in, all kinds of cool stuff. I really like that idea because it's going to allow them to really interact with this water feature. The patio is going to come right up against you. It's going to be beautiful. We put in a bunch of evergreens today, as well as some sweet gum and some black gums. I make mean, life difficult for DJ. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we got going in here. Uh, we move on into lighting and mulching and hardscape next week. Let's see, Reynolds and his crew were here today. Let's see what they have going up here. Some flower beds up through the front, but we're gonna be lighting as well. All along this side of the house, a couple beds in here, boxwood. This is just a beautiful new house here. Well, I guess it's actually technically a remodel. And here we have some more beds. Got some landscape here in the front. This will all get outdoor lighting as well. Beautiful weeping forest and the red bud. It's gonna be a gorgeous tree. More beds and mulch coming. And there we go. All around this beautiful home. It's just gonna come to life here in the next week. But sadly, we're not doing the hardscape. Yeah, that's, well, what happened is the hardscape was added <coughs> and I have a water feature in State College that's scheduled for Tuesday and that's not flexible. So we're gonna, DJ and I are gonna be here on Monday and Tuesday. We're gonna start get the hardscape in and do some lighting and we're gonna be working here until Tuesday but we're not gonna get it all done and another crew is gonna come in and finish it. So that's really unfortunate because I really like, this has been one of those projects where I get to deliver all the aspects of the outdoor living experience and that's what I love to do. The water features, the hardscape, the planting, the lighting, just get to bring all the elements to a backyard and I love when I get the opportunity to do that. So this job provides the opportunity but my schedule isn't flexible now, unfortunately. See you guys on Monday. Good morning folks. This is the newly updated design number three for this project. Right in there is our water feature that we did last week and this is the patio we're adding give you guys a little bit of a better idea than the paint marks that we had earlier. We have a seating wall going in here, 18 inch seating wall. And then we have two pillars going here and we're gonna put a porch swing in here. So they can sit on the swing and look at the water feature. And then there's a walkway coming up through here. It's not on the design. Comes up here and connects to this walkway. So we're gonna start doing some digging here this morning. Right, Deej? Yeah. Oh, Deej can't talk this morning, it's Monday. He's here in body, but not much else. Friday morning to y'all. We are here at a project where we did a um, 12 foot custom pondless and there was landscape and lighting. And then the last step of the process, they decided to add some hardscape to it, a walkway, a patio so that they could interact a little better with the water feature. And um, unfortunately, my next project had a deadline and I had I didn't have time for that add-on. So DJ and I moved on to our next project, which is a big water feature. And Brendel and his crew moved in and did the hardscape. So um, we're on our way to our water feature job this morning. We decided to stop, I talked with Brendel this morning and he said they're finished. So we decided to stop in, make sure that the last 10% was done, all those little details and get some B-roll. So let's go take a look at what they did. So front here, we have our landscape and our lighting. We did some mulching. Amazing what the <coughs> last little foot does to make it look like a home. This is brand new construction here. So as you can see, the lawn isn't seated yet. This is one beautiful backyard and just look at that. 
Isn't that just a little piece of paradise? It is. Finished hardscape. It allows you to just interact with this outdoor space. A gas insert goes in there. That's not complete yet. We didn't have all the parts. Mm, the water feature, crystal clear. <laughs> Beautiful. One of the things that I especially enjoyed about this project was how we were able to deliver all the elements of the outdoor living space. It's always something that's important to me. And um, every single time I do it, I realize the life that the water feature brings. You can put in a beautiful hardscape, a beautiful outdoor living space, but it doesn't become alive until you add that water element. Same way, if you, if you have that water feature but you don't have the hardscape, it's a little hard for you to interact with it. So I enjoyed this project because it allowed us to bring all the elements of the outdoor living space into one little spot. And that's what we enjoy to do. On to the B-roll.